So this is a British F tuba and it's compensated. So you've got three valves here and you've got another one there. And this is the instrument that the first tuba concerto was ever written for, which happens to be from an English composer called uh, Vaughan Williams. And also this is what Elgar, Holst and all of the, you know, the English composers, this is the instrument that they would have written for. It's a lovely, lovely instrument. And as uh, one of my old teachers, Roger Bobo, called it, it's like kind of like a bass euphonium. And it's really cool that together with uh, Jonathan and Wessex, that we were able to bring this instrument back pretty much from the dead because it wasn't made at all since the 60s. These are really important sounds from uh, different traditions and they should keep living on in my opinion. Then you have variety and you have a real interesting color palette. Back in the days of, you know, you would go to this part of the world, you'd hear these instruments, this sound. You go to this part of the world, you'd hear these instruments, this sound. These days it's becoming more normalized that everybody kind of plays the similar thing, which I think is a, a bit of a pity because then the specialities and the uniqueness of each place is kind of lost. So to keep things like this alive is really important, I think. It's easy to play lyrically on it, but also to do some quick stuff is, is really, really nice. And the tuning, because it's, you know, got the compensated system, the tuning is very, very helpful when you're playing it. The tube is playing with you, you're not playing against it, which helps. As you can see, it's quite small. So for traveling, if there's the luggage allowance, which, you know, if musicians that have been on tour, dealing with airports and, you know, dealing with people who don't understand uh, what's in the case, it's also really, really useful to know that, okay, it's way under the limit. It's really, really light. So you always know it's going to get on. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really, really fun little tuba and it's, I think it's fantastic that we were able to bring it back. It certainly got people talking when we announced that it was coming back because it's one of those things that people just never really imagined because, you know, it was literally discontinued. And I played this festival in Portugal called Gravissimo and it was in a very, very old uh, monastery, which I think is UNESCO World Heritage Site. I played a Handel oboe concerto, but obviously on this, not on the oboe. And then a song, a piece of leader by Richard Strauss. And it was really, really nice and I enjoyed it because there was so much space in this, in this room for the resonance and for the sound to really sing. It was just so nice to uh, play it. And it was funny in a way too, because it's a small tuba, but it, in a space like that, it made a huge sound. They couldn't believe that for something this size, it was really filling this uh, place. This is an instrument for somebody who knows that they have their own voice and isn't afraid to deviate from the norm and from the kind of like, oh, this is the kind of thing you have to play. It's about colors and it's about being able to really express yourself and, you know, being able to really make music. For me, at least, that's what it's about. If somebody comes to a concert and they're feeling bad, anything could be happening in their life. If they leave feeling uh, better, that's mission complete. And some, something like this, for me, makes expressing myself much, much easier. This is the warehouse of dreams. This is the Wessex warehouse, full of all of these instruments waiting for a home, possibly yours. This might not be the most aesthetically pleasing spot, but it's the best acoustics in the building. Well, this is the British F tuba. It was the tuba which has been used in British orchestras right from the beginning, when tubas first started in the 19th century being used, right up until, I think the last one was used in the 1980s. It's got a very special sound, different from the German F tubas or American F tubas. They've got their own sound. The British F tubas, it's a really lyrical instrument. It's got that singing voice. And one of the reasons I think it was made as it was is because the tuba players in British orchestras in those early days of the 20th century tended to be ex-military band euphonium players. They learned to play in, in the military bands, then moved to play in the orchestra. And this was just like one step up 
from playing the euphonium. They could be played using the same techniques. Now, when I started Wessex, it was one of the instruments I really wanted to make because it's so much of a heritage and it hasn't been made since the 1960s. So it was a sound that has been lost. I was actually approached by a very elderly gentleman in his 90s who wanted one of our little travel tubers to play at home just to keep it, you know, for fun. He'd given up playing with any groups. We don't normally take instruments in trade at Wessex. But he said, I've got an old one to trade, would you, would you be interested? And I said, what is it? And he said, it's a Bess and F tuba. And I almost fell over because it's what I've been searching for all the years. So did a deal to, to get it. And what's even more incredible is he had previously played back in the 1980s in the Hampshire Police Band, the very band that I play in today. And he'd bought it from the tuba player of Welsh National Opera. Absolutely incredible. It's, they're so rare. There is a book about the tuba and they'd only found there's about 20 of these British chef tubas in existence. That's how rare. They, they weren't made like the band instruments in the thousands. These were just a handful. Just made to special order for a specific player. The one we used as the basis was the very last one as far as we know ever made in 1967. We think that from the serial number because you can get the, the age of the instruments using their serial number. It's like the final development of the, of the British F tuba was then used for a new British F tuba from Wessex. Do subscribe to um, Wessex Tuba's social media and YouTube channel so you don't miss out on, on future videos we may publish.